Hey fellas, it's 265 Chevy here on May 17th, about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, let me give you a, what I'm into tonight. I decided to do this tonight, or at least started tonight. Back on the Ultima, what I'm going to do is... Do the motor mounts. Got four of them. Got one there. You have one down there. And then you have one back there. And the transmission mount is underneath there. So, usually it's pretty sunny doing here during the day. So, it usually kicks my butt. So, I had to do a lot of running around today when picked up the parts. I have all the parts. Um, I have the trusty book. Bought some end links for the front sway bar. Those are bad. And I bought some bushings for the sway bar because those are bad. Got the Bible out. Watched a couple of videos. Three videos on shows on all three. All the uh, motor mounts. So if anybody wants to see any videos uh, about this job. Uh, I forgot what the guy's name, but he's got three videos on all the mounts and uh, three different videos. And uh, they're pretty good videos. So uh, you can get whatever you need to get any info from there. Um, I'm going to work on it tonight. Try to get as many of these things I can done. Uh, also got a, I'm going to do a radiator flush. and Which is this right here. But that that I'm pouring tomorrow and uh, try that and let my wife drive the car for, for a day or so and then you know flush everything Sunday and put all new uh, fluid new usually do that about once a year so uh, all the boats I uh, need to put with blue Loctite let me get that out uh, on the Firebird, got all that, got everything put in. The only thing that's left is to put on the U-joints, clean it up, paint it. I'm going to put the old one back in. Seems like it's in pretty decent condition. I'm not going to use the other one. I'll just stick that one in the attic. And uh, after I put that in, bolt that in, tighten all the bolts, the middle of the car is done. After I finish that, I'll give you a video on how that came out. Came out pretty good. Everything's painted. Everything looks good, nice and clean. So, uh, let me get started here. And uh, this is my job for the night. This is what I'm going to be doing. Trying to keep a little cool. It's probably, probably in, in the lower 90s right now outside. But during the day, it's in the 90s in the sun, man. It's really. And what I really need to do is that which I haven't done but I do need to do and I'll probably do it in in June is that I have a tent you know and I bought the stuff that I needed to drill some holes in the cement and anchor it to the cement so I can get some shade so I'm gonna do that uh, forgot where it's at but it's around here somewhere I bought that a while back. I just never put it up. I need to put that up. But uh, we'll go from here. Just wanted to let y'all know what I'm doing. Make sure that y'all see that, you know, uh, um, you know, um, things that keep on moving on. Oh, yeah, and a little update. My boy Chains is uh, from uh, Mike's Garage to uh, and, and Woods. Remember that I told y'all to go give him a shout out, which I appreciate all y'all doing. If whoever didn't watch that video, go look up uh, um, Wolverine's Racing. That's his new channel name. He changed because it's pretty much going to be all about cars. So uh, he's you know he, he just made up a video, a room, a good video about a good tip about logs if you're really into racing. How to do do it? What he's been doing over the years, and I can see why he is uh, 
they moving on up and getting consistent times and stuff like that, winning five national, I don't know if it's national championships or, uh, or five championships, you know, so um, I can see why because of the way they're doing it. So that was a great tip. Um, and that's about it. I've been watching y'all videos as much as I can, but I've been trying to work as much as I can too. So y'all have a good day. Enjoy y'all weekend. Later.